It's been about two days since the passing of Technoblade, and it's safe to say that the internet and the gaming community as a whole will never be the same way again. I stopped playing Minecraft a while ago, but honestly I'm thinking of playing it again just in respect for Techno. At the time of this video being made, Techno has earned 2 million more. Think about that. 2 million subscribers, 2 million people in just 2 days. It's a number we can't comprehend because of how big it is. Technoblade has 12 million subscribers now, and he deserves. Techno was able to live to see his channel hit 10 million subscribers before he died. I have been re-watching his past videos, and feeling such a sense of unease while doing so. Minecraft in VR is one of the saddest and unnerving videos I think I'll ever watch in my entire life. Hearing him say what he wants to do in the future, and saying he wants his Minecraft VR video to become a series is absolutely heartbreaking. It's in times like these when you must remember how fragile and important life is. You only have one shot. It doesn't have to be long, but it doesn't have to be short either. I remember in August when Techno uploaded his Where I've Been video where he announced he got cancer. In the span of 10 months, he had a painful battle with cancer, yet was still able to entertain us and make us all laugh. He deserves this rest. Techno's done so much for us. I can only imagine what he is doing in heaven now. It's in times like these when you should call or message a family member, whether it be an uncle, aunt, sibling, or a parent and ask them how they are. Usually when people get older, they stay away from family, and kind of distance themselves to do other things, but please, just reach out to a friend or family and ask how they are. Recently, I lost a dog due to a seizure. I will miss that dog forever. I'm not trying to compare it to Techno's death, but I really hope you will understand what I mean. Life is fragile. Do as much as you can. F. Cancer.